Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to take a look at the mass shooting that happened yesterday. Some footage from the attacker arriving on scene and the body camera footage has been released already. Basically, if you didn't see the news yesterday, a 28 year old, I don't know, it's the news is saying she, some news is saying he, I, I have no idea. I don't know. Anyways, they went to a church where there was also a school inside for young children, went inside, killed three nine year olds, the headmaster teacher another teacher and a janitor. Police may have a motive for the killing, but they're not saying so at this time. When asked at a press conference yesterday about the motive, the police chief did say that they did speak with the shooter's father and that they have found a manifesto and detailed maps of the school that they created in planning the attack. Chief Drake said police believe Hell once attended Covenant and resented having to attend the school. He said there were other drawings and writings indicating that Hell I considered also attacking another school, but apparently chose not to after deciding the security there was too tight. But when asked if the suspect's gender identity played any role in the motive behind the shooting, the police chief hesitated before replying, we can give you that at a later time. There is some theory to that. We're investigating all the leads. So we're not really sure the entire reasoning behind the shooting and the targeting of random people inside this church. The chief said we should know at a later time. Some reports are saying that it could have been fueled by Tennessee just banning some drag shows and uh, transgender surgery for children. But like the chief said, we're going to find that out at a later time. If they left a big manifesto, it'll probably be in there. The reason I wanted to make this video, and you know I don't do many active shooter videos, is because of the tactics used by the police officers and how quickly they got on scene and eliminated the threat. This was no Uvalde. Once they arrived on scene they had the shooter dead within three minutes and we're gonna watch that right now nashville police released this video yesterday showing the shooter arriving at the church slash school and how they gained entry first off here's them pulling up to the school next up is how the shooter gained entry they walked up to the front doors and just shot the glass out on them then stepped through if you look right here you can see that the shooter is using their ar pistol right now According to Nashville police, the shooter was using one of those sh kel sub 2000s, an AR pistol, pistol because of the brace, exactly what they're trying to ban right now, and an MMP shield. As I said earlier, they made entry with their AR pistol and then switched that kel sub 2000 here in a second. So he continues to stumble f around the building, just looking for anyone to indiscriminately shoot. Let's see it from the police's point of view. As you'll see, the heroes that stop this f***ing idiot are a little bit better at clearing rooms. I'm making entry on the front side. I got a civilian here. The first officer arrives on scene, quickly grabs his patrol rifle, and a teacher standing outside says, we have all the kids locked down, but we can't find two of the kids. Officer calmly says, okay, and then instantly goes right into the building towards danger. One more! Let's go! Metro Police! Bathroom, bathroom, small bathroom. Clear. Next, yeah. let's go. Show me the door, door, door. With me, with me. Hold the door. Next. This. Open it, I got it, I got it. Bathroom. Let's go. Move right. Cover, cover left. Cover left. I want to point out so far their room clearing is awesome and they are not wasting any time. They're sprinting from door to door but being safe about it at the same time. I don't know if you noticed it either, but some of the guys are wearing blue jeans. That means we got some jump out boys, some guys in some special units right here. Take this door. Take it. It's upstairs. It sounds like it's upstairs. Go, 
If you listen closely, you can hear gunshots. They are being really meticulous about their clearing, going room to room, but now that they know that the threat is somewhere in that direction, they don't have to stop and clear each individual room. The officer says sh and sprints right towards the shooter. There were two officers that fired shots killing the suspect. As we saw right there, that officer was able to make contact first with his rifle, putting them down instantly. The shooter still wouldn't stop moving, so the officer to the right with his service pistol out ends the threat. Now let's watch that officer's body camera footage. There you go, second floor. I don't have a radio closet, give me up. No, locked door. Where did they go in? First floor, first floor, first floor. Hold there, y'all. Somebody hold there. Hit that door. Rifle first. Rifle first. Blue, go. Go, 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 go. Go. Move. Move. I'm with you. Go left. Hit that stair. Hit the stairs. Go, go stairs, go stairs, go. Go, 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 Go. Right, right, right. Push it LPV up. Push it LPV up. Go right. Move, move. Watch out, watch out. Stop moving. Stop moving. Watch left, watch left. Suspect down, suspect down. I had to blur a good bit of that, but if you want to see the raw footage, you can go over to my raw police footage channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description in the comments below. That was an awful, terrible, horrible situation, but the officers got on scene and they ran in there as quickly as they could to stop the threat and did an excellent job. The two officers who fired shots, you can see right here, it's MNPD officers Rex Engelbert, a four-year veteran, and Michael Colazzo, a nine-year veteran. Bravo, guys. That was a good job. That's all I got for you today. I hope that we can all buy these two gentlemen beers sometimes. Thoughts and prayers to the families and everyone affected by this. Thoughts and prayers to the first responders also who had to do this type of thing. That's a lot of PTSD right there. That's it. I uh, hope everyone has a fantastic day. Quack.